A favorite fall recipe for me earns its title when it fills the house with the fragrance of baking. And in fall, nothing beats apple and cinnamon together. I know you're gonna love my apple cinnamon pull apart bread. And really, it's no harder to make than it is to make cinnamon buns. It all starts with a soft and rich dough. And that means that you've got a yeast dough, but it also includes butter and eggs at the same time. So to make the dough, you can do it by hand, but I prefer using a stand mixer with a dough hook. I've already got my all-purpose flour measured in the bowl. I do add a little sugar to the dough, but not too much, only two tablespoons. This actually helps to make the dough tender. Then I add my yeast, two and a quarter teaspoons. Now that's the same as a packet. What's important is that I'm using instant yeast, so I can add it right to the flour. I don't need to dissolve it in liquid first. I'll toss in a teaspoon of salt, and now it's time for the liquids. So I find to get the right texture of a soft dough, I want a combination of water and milk. When you add milk to a yeast dough, it makes it soft and it prevents the crust from being too thick and too crunchy, but you do need a little bit of water. You want both your milk and your water to end up being just above body temperature. So what I do is I actually fill my half cup measure with hot tap water, and then I pour in my half a cup of cold milk. The two temperatures balance out and it ends up being just above body temperature, the ideal temperature for yeast. I can add the liquids right away and I'll crack in my two eggs. Now it's time for the butter. Here's a great tip if you forget to pull out your butter before you start your baking. If it's ice cold, you cut it into its measure and then just use a box grater and coarsely grate it, just like you would cheese. That butter will soften up in no time and within a minute, it will have worked into this dough. Now I'll mix this for about five minutes on low speed until it becomes elastic. You'll see it'll climb the dough hook as it mixes. It'll still stick to the bottom a little bit, but it'll clean the sides of the bowl. And here we have a nice stretchy dough. So we have to give it time to rise. Now here's where I have two options for you. Depending on your timing and your schedule and when you want your pull apart bread, you can make this dough ahead of time, a full day ahead of time. So put it into a bowl, cover it, and then immediately refrigerate it. You can let it sit in the fridge for 24 hours and then you'll work with it cold. You'll find it's easy to handle. But if you want to eat this bread today, you'll want to cover the bowl and let this rise for 90 minutes and it will double in size. Now it's time to assemble the pull apart bread and this is where the fun really is. I'll start by making the apple filling. First, I want to get some butter melted. I need about two tablespoons. In this case, you don't have to precisely measure and melt that while I take care of everything else. I have my one and a half cups of diced and peeled apples. Whatever type of apple you have available that suits cooking. If you would bake it into an apple pie or any other apple dessert, that's the type of apple to use here. I add two thirds of a cup of light brown sugar. And of course, we wanna make the house smell amazing with this bread. So I'm adding two full teaspoons of cinnamon. And you know what? To really bring out the flavor, I love a little nutmeg. So I'm gonna grate in about half a teaspoon. You can use pre-ground too, of course. All right, now I'll add my butter. And all I have to do is give this a little stir just to make sure those apples are coated. Now it's time to roll the dough. Now this dough I let chill overnight. So you'll find it's easy to handle because the butter sets up. I'll turn it out onto my work surface. Of course, you wanna dust your work surface and the dough with some flour. And then as close as you can, try and roll this out to a 15 inch square. If you find the dough is sticking, just give it a little lift, a little flour underneath. If you rotate the dough as you're rolling it, you'll find it won't stick too much. Now this is the interesting part. Typically, if you were making a cinnamon bun, you would spread the filling, roll it up, slice it into the buns and away you go. To get the pull apart bread texture so that you have sheets of dough layered with the filling, you have to treat this a little differently. So I'm going to take about a third of the filling. I'll spread the filling in the center. Now, just take one side of the dough and fold it on top of the filling. 
You can give it a little pat to work out any air bubbles. Now I'll take another third of the dough and sprinkle that on top, right where the first filling went. Okay, and now I lift the second side up and over and cover the apples again, giving it another little press. And the last bit of apples, well that goes right on top. And so now you may be puzzling, how am I gonna get this from this rectangle into sheets of pastry in my pan. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is trim away the top and bottom that maybe doesn't have enough cinnamon filling. Don't throw them away though. Now, this is important. You wanna trim the sides, the long sides here, so that releases the dough. So then the folds become single layers. You've got three single layers. And what you can always do is take this extra dough with its little bit of cinnamon, you can take these little pieces, twist them up together, and then you can place them on a baking tray or in a ramekin and bake them up separately. Just a little extra treat for you. All right, the final step is cutting. So now I'm gonna divide this dough and I'll use my knife and I'll cut it into three equal pieces. So I'll end up with three squares. Now you wanna cut each of those squares into triangles, just like slicing a sandwich. Mm -hmm. To get your pan ready, you'll want to line your 9x5 pan with a sheet of parchment. Make sure you grease the ends, that way the loaf will lift out easily. So pick up two triangles and then put them together so that two flat sides are at the bottom. And now you layer them upright in your loaf tin. They all nestle in and they don't have to look perfect or be perfectly aligned because this dough is going to rise again. All right, and there it is. Looks beautiful already, doesn't it? If you're using the chilled dough, you wanna let it rise an additional 30 minutes, just to factor in that cold temperature. You really wanna let it warm up. After your 30 or 60 minutes of proof time now, you'll find that your pull-apart bread hasn't risen up dramatically, but so long as you've given it that time, you're good to go. I've preheated my oven to 350, and now this loaf takes about 45 minutes to bake. Because of that filling, it may spill over the pan a little bit, so I always put it on a baking tray when I bake it. This bread is absolutely amazing. I love how it looks. You know, it's sort of rustic, and that's, that's that fall look. You, want, you don't want it to be perfect. It's perfectly imperfect and it smells absolutely incredible here. I love the aroma of apples and cinnamon together. Nothing beats it this time of year. I did let the bread cool in its pan on a rack for 30 minutes before I lifted it out. You can enjoy it warm. It's also as delicious at room temperature, but give it that 30 minutes. And before you dive in, oh, hang on, we've got to make the glaze, the finishing touch. And so simply I take some icing sugar with a couple tablespoons of milk, I add a splash of vanilla and I whisk that together. Use the fork to drizzle that glaze on top of the bread. Within about half an hour, it will set up, if you can wait that long. And truly, this bread earns its name. You just literally tear into it and pull apart the pieces. The layers of the apple and cinnamon with the bit of brown sugar and butter make it easy to pull away in slices. You can slice this bread using a knife if you wish, and you'll kind of get that nice ripple effect of the apples with the line of cinnamon. I love the way it pulls apart, and you've got that soft, tender dough. Mmm, just the smell of the cinnamon and apples. This is absolutely divine. I hope this becomes your new favorite fall recipe. It is truly something special. Mm. Oh, it's so good. You pull apart one piece, and then you pull apart another, and then another. Mmm.